bread soup. There he is. Hello. Hello. Come in, come in. Thank you Hello, very Sean. much. It's oh my little, god. Uh, little drink for you. Oh, brilliant. Stalin um, red semi dry wine. You like Stalin? He's good. Good year. He's always made good wine and he made that in 2013. Stalin. Oh, could you put small soldiers down there for a second? Uh, welcome. Welcome to my house. Um, we're going to be having a few wee dishes off this. I don't know if you've heard of it. Marguerite Patton's International Cookery in Colour. So let's see who have we got. We've got all the heavies: Africa, America, Australia, and New Zealand. Uh, Britain, Britain, England, England, Ireland, and Scotland. Sorry, Wales. Looks like Ireland made the cut instead of you. Hey. Is there still a Yugoslavia? Uh, there's two now. I like the uh, the war font. <laughs> <laughs> it is total rations. Yeah. Fun. I recapture the exotic feeling of the East and the sophistication of the Western world. Oh, here we go already. Yeah. Number five, <laughs> fruit jelly mold. Don't eat that fruit, put it in jelly. Cottage cheese pears. That sounds like a good start, look at that. You know that bit in Twin Peaks when they walk in a cafe and go, I'll have a cottage cheese pear. Tomato ham chowder. Beans. A Texan rice ring. You know, Texan rice. Yeehaw! In a ring, you shoot the middle out. Yeah, you make the whole thing <laughs> and you shoot your beans. Or, no, not beans, your rice. <laughs> you shoot your beans? Um, it, uh, just a, a whole cabbage. You are eating cabbage. Just, yeah. Just in, inside a, a cabbage. cabbage. That's a bowl. Prune and pineapple. Do you want some of that? Some sunrise meatloaf? Oh sorry, I thought that said surprise meatloaf. <laughs> Sarah Curtin steak party style. Meat mold. Mm. Look at that meat mold. Would you like to live in there? <laughs> Great view. That could be your little house. What do you think of that? Frankfurter and apple salad. Pathetic. That looks like what I made last time if it had gone worse. Do you know when you get a pre-cooked chicken and there's just the, the jelly that's connected oh, at the bottom? I hate the chicken jelly. Do you want a fucking jugged hair? Yeah, oh. Is that just a... Jug that hair. That's just a hair in a jug. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. Oh. Oh. Oh, Flanagan's sausage supper. The Irish love of potatoes is world famous. We love them. Monday night, O'Flanagan sausage supper. Tuesday, Tuesday night, night. O'Flanagan sausage supper. Sean, what are, you, what are you having for dinner tomorrow night? I'll probably have an O'Flanagan sausage supper. What did you have last night? Well, uh, obviously I had an O'Flanagan sausage supper. O'Flanagan sausage supper. Whenever I go to, to meet my, my cousin in Liverpool, though, we have a jugged hair. A jugged hair? Yeah. yeah, you go over to... You go over to England, you have a jugged hair. Yeah. You come back to Ireland, you have O'Flanagan's. I'm glad I'm back with my O'Flanagan's sauce. Oh, so oh. <laughs> a bricklayer decided to start making dishes <coughs> and continued. Baps. American or Imperial Baps? American or Imperial Baps? Imperial Shop. Baps. Imperial Baps? Yeah. Gaelic coffee, often called Irish coffee. Hmm. British coffee, the jug method, so there's probably a fucking hair in that. Dressed crab. Put a little hat in the crab. Nice of the crab to make the effort. Jellied whole chicken. I was thinking about this one and I couldn't really tell from the picture. Has it been placed in a bowl and there's just a layer of jelly over all of that? To serve, lift out of the dish as a mould. Oh it is, okay, so it's just a big, that is jelly with a picture of chicken in it. I mean, just look at that image. Don't even mind this. Tuck in. What is this an image of? I don't think anyone would say Hungarian savory fish steaks. Sausages and chestnuts. 
arrange on serving dish and top <laughs> with sausages. Look at this rubbish. Put that in a fucking jug. <laughs> of all Far Eastern cookery, Japanese is probably the most alien to Western palates. Vegetable, chicken, and fish stew. Aliens. Oh. Is that? Yeah, that's Japan. That. <laughs> that's all of Japan. So Marguerite Patton just says, Japanese food's fucking weird, and then has one dish. <laughs> And then they're like, oh, I think we can all agree that's, that's enough <laughs> that's of that. That's all we need to see. This is delicious with lychees, but when not available, use fairly sharp plums and shrimp flavored crisps often served with Indonesian dishes. When these are not available, use ordinary potato crisps. So we go from lychees <laughs> to just crisps. Did you play that? I have played that as a room, yeah. And of course. <laughs> oh, a nice basket of bread soup. Are they made out of... They've got... They're well armed. They're made out of potatoes. Are they protecting? Why is this the only thing in the whole menu that has little figurines in it? You're not getting our noodles and fish. <laughs> that looks great, doesn't it? Meat patties in a collar? That looks good. Sub's choice. <laughs> so is this dessert? Yeah. Here you go, everybody. <laughs> Who wants a slice? Go on, you'll have a slice. Blow out the candles. <laughs> First you have this. And you have your pork chops. <laughs> then you just eat this sauce and a tornado of liver. Liver tornadoes. Whoa! <laughs> Do you want some salami mold? No. Salmon, Salmon mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Shellfish party? <laughs> Portuguese special party? <laughs> liver with onions? Onions? Prune mousse. Oh, prune mousse. I'll take a prune mousse. <laughs> Make mine a prune mousse. <laughs> and to drink? A prune mousse. <laughs> Can I get a prune mousse? Can't get over prune mousse. <laughs> hey, one of those pr What is that? Some sort of... Oh, that's sort, sort, of, of sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of prune mousse? Kind of like a prune mousse? It's mousse, but prune. Prune mousse. Uh, free refills on prune mousse. <laughs> Okay, well I think I'm just gonna get to work because I know what I'm making. You right. gotta just keep yourself busy here. I'll be about, I'd say your appetizer will be ready in about, I'll say 10 minutes. Okay, is that all right? 10 minutes for 10 the minutes. start? What's the run time on this? Might as well just have something to drink while I'm getting everything ready. Good year. So, to start, we are going to have, all the way from the USA, a nice grapefruit cocktail with um, pickles, prawns, cayenne pepper, and a bit of yogurt. Grapefruit, pickles, prawns, yogurt. Grapefruit, pickles, prawns, yogurt. Grapefruit, pickles, prawns, yogurt. Have the grapefruit. Remove pulp, discarding both pips and skin. Okay, and skin. You need the skin, surely. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Just get rid of all this rubbish. Don't need any of this. Just throw it away. Don't give it to anyone. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Lovely dollop of yogurt. With grapefruit cocktail, uh, they always say presentation is key. Let's just get that in there. The you know, bit is just coming over the side now, so you'll want it. And also make sure to pile it up nice and high. Chunks to garnish. So, I've got your appetizer here. All the way from the USA, we've got some delicious grapefruit cocktail. Okay. So that's a grapefruit cocktail. Do you, actually, I won't tell you what's in it, just make sure to get it. It smells terrible. Will I tell you the full ingredients or do you want to just figure that <laughs> I out? I suppose I'm just going to have to go in. <laughs> the smell and the look. What do you reckon that white is? Is it mayo? No. It's not mayo? No. I don't know. Do you know what? I will turn on the light. Cream? No. You're just going to have to eat it. 
Here, I'll hold it steady so you can get a nice... Okay. I just want to go for a prawn, but I know that's not how this works. Yeah, you gotta get some of the grapefruit. <laughs> you know what, the flavour should be well mixed enough that you'll, okay. get, you'll get a bit of everything. Nothing there goes together. <laughs> when the grapefruit hits, you know that... Yeah. Ooh. It's still just a big fucking better grapefruit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You getting anything? It's not good. <laughs> There's loads happening. And the fact that this <laughs> spice <laughs> in there that just gives you this little... <laughs> uh. So I, <laughs> I don't want to eat this. There's a nice bit here with some pepper on it. Yeah. The slap. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, so much chewing to do. Mm. You're not out of the woods yet. And what uh, what uh, part of the world is this? America. This is America. The, America. Any Americans watching, they probably had this for breakfast. Oh god. One of those Wolfenstein style flashbacks where he's like, oh, the smell of my grapefruit prawns and pickles. I miss my wife. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll see. That one. tang. It's actually, it tastes, it, it does taste like earwax or sick or just bad. Like, like the battery. Ugh. That tastes like a switch car. Oh my god! <laughs> That's exactly what the fucking flavour! Do you want to do a taste test? Yeah, go on. We could compare right now. <laughs> I've got a whole box of them here. Uh, overcooked. Overcooked, I that mean, that's sense. got to be... I mean, I'm not going to wince because I've just been eating that for... Is that the same taste? It's just the exact same flavour. I'm going to give you a different car. Here, you can have Dark Souls. There you go. Oh. You died, huh? <laughs> so yeah, it's just basically en enhanced what you've yeah. already tasted. It's uh, it's the same as that, but just like concentrated, concentrated, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. Um, Humanity certainly not restored. No. Remember when they say, "Look at the sun." Look at the sun. Look at the sun, and they point at it like that. Yeah. Look at the sun. Look at the sun. <laughs> Look at the sun. <laughs> Look at the sun. Uh... Anyway, I'll go make your main course now. Okay, main course. Now let's just tidy up our, our station a little bit here. Ah, oh, we don't need to give it a proper wash. We can just give it a wipe down. I mean, that pickle juice will, will only enhance things, really. Uh, let's see. Frankfurter and apple salad. Frankfurter and apple salad. Pathetic. Now just make sure your knife skills are up to scratch when you're you're chopping frankfurters. And you walk away, you are finished. Please. I'll just have a prod. Keep me going. Pro kitchen tip. Keep some prawns beside you. All the way from Austria, apple and frankfurter oh. salad um, with onion and mayo and chutney mixture and lettuce. Do you want? Do you want it? Yeah, have, well, have some of that. No. <laughs> uh, I worked hard you. on this one. This thank was you. no. I mean, that presentation is. I think this could be quite nice. And make sure you got a bit of everything in your in your fork. <laughs> and I'm gonna guess this is uncooked onion. Yeah, no, I just chopped an onion. Okay. So get yeah, make a little kebab. You know, just get some apple. An onion bit. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. Go for it. Now you need that onion, so you're gonna have to yeah, pick that yeah, up I'm again. Yeah, to... <laughs> See, that's the nice thing about it being a ring, isn't it? Yeah. It's one, it's one of the nice things about it being a ring, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
Okay. thing uh no the onion's quite overpowering uh-huh i can't bring myself to say that it's good but comparatively yeah for marguerite Patton. Mm. oh the texture of the squishy frankfurter is really weird well, <laughs> you got more chutney that time. Maybe I'm just adjusting. Yeah. Marguerite's just beating us down. <laughs> I mean, the last thing I had was a switch car. <laughs> so they have this in Austria all the time. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This is an Austrian breakfast. Yeah. Jesus, no wonder. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> no wonder he went a bit. A bit. You know. Well, thank you, Sean. Keep keep working on that. Anyway. <laughs> well, um, uh... what? <laughs> do you know what you can do? Roll up this lettuce leaf into a little burrito. Yeah, I mean, I'll get into the bin faster. Yeah. Right, I guess I'll get to work on on your dessert. This should actually be quite nice. Uh, just a jam omelet. I've uh, got some. I'm just getting an omelet and a little bit of jam in it. Now, they want you to take out the yolk. Now, here's a wee tip. If you want to get rid of that yolk, which is such a shame to do, but that, uh, use the shell. Use the shell. I guess I'll just leave that there. No, that's a bad idea. Now, luckily, I have this. Most important part is to get just an adorable tiny, tiny jam. Make sure you get the really small jam. Three tablespoons of butter, Jesus. Okay. That's an insane amount of butter, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ease off a bit on the butter, because... Three tablespoons sounds dangerous. This hob is taking a long time to get any heat in it. Come on, let's go. Oh, this is gonna be miserable. We're gonna put this nice cube of jelly. Jelly, jam, I'm sorry. Looks like a... A nice smiley face. Now some of that jam has leaked out. Not to worry, we can give this uh, pan to the cat later. You've got your dessert here, and it's nice and hot, and I'd like you to have it while it's still piping hot. Oh, nice. And I think this will be quite nice. This is that. a jam oh. omelette. Jam omelette? An omelette with jam in it. And where's this from? France. Oh, oh do well. jam. Well, then it's good, isn't it? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yeah? It's unusual. Yeah. But the sweetness complements the, the eggness. Egg. Okay. And I must say, Sean, that's a very nicely cooked omelette. Jesus, thanks very much. Jam or not. Ah. Yeah. Okay. A twist on a classic. You, yeah. And that was, that was cooked in butter, in, in quite a bit of butter. So both times now the dessert's just been the only one that we're, we're probably just gonna eat all that. Yeah. I might keep that as in my repertoire now. Make someone a nice jam omelet. Now is that a standard strawberry? That's just a bit of strawberry jam. If you wanted to treat someone to an indulgent breakfast, you can go for that as well. I'd try that with um, a blackberry. Oh my God. Or a marmalade. Uh, would, you, would you chance ham and herbs and onion? Mm. Ham and jam. Mm, maybe ham and jam might be good. I can finish that off. Oh. 
Oh my god, I'm not sure. No. <laughs> god, this is the jammiest bit. Well, oh, you know what, that bit. I bet I do want jam. Too much jam? Yeah. I believe it because <coughs> it was an omelette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sham, uh, can I first of all say thank you very much for what was. Uh, an experience, yeah, which is what people strive for now. In what do you say? Was it a nice meal? They're kind of like, mm, uh, was it a good experience? Yeah, it's like, oh, it was an experience. Yeah, 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 it yeah. was absolutely an experience. Uh -huh. What did you think of Marguerite Patton's International Cookery in Color? I, I, it was a step up from the last one because not only did you learn to cook these fantastic meals, but you you learned something mm. about about everyone. Yeah. I, th I certainly know more about the world yeah. than I did. I think it's fair to say that international cookery in colour is better than cookery in colour yeah. because three factors, mm -hmm. the three factor situation. First of all, it's half the size, so that yeah. hugely reduces it's, the chances it's, it's for- It's curated. Yeah. 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 Um, secondly, it's actually in colour. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Although, I did really enjoy the suggestion that cookery and colour was in colour and those dishes were just so miserable. <laughs> That's just how they appeared in yeah. colour. Thirdly, I think the advantage Marguerite Patton has here is what's clearly happened is she's looked through a bunch of cookbooks from other <laughs> places. And just and just gone, yeah. That like, put that in jelly. When you put that in a jug. <laughs> For starters we had Piquant Grapefruit Cocktail. Yeah, is that nice? From the USA! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Out of ten. What did, do you know what we gave? Oh god, uh, it was. It wasn't good. We, we I remember it. it was definitely like whatever three was. Did we rate each meal? Ten. It was because it was one out of three. No. Because one dish was nice out of three. So what's and three out of? But like, like if you so rate three, if ten. If you made the ten, well, like, like, like there was two. Look, we'll watch it back and we'll yeah. we'll see what we gave it in the end. But what would you give international cooking color overall out of ten? Um, six. Six. Yeah. Uh, so it went six like out of ten. A good progression, like it went, you know, yep. zero. No, Marguerite's on the up. And one, yeah. So right. next time, intergalactic <laughs> uh, cookery and colour. Yeah, like a porg and jelly. Chew back it like that. That's, he, he would. That's or IP. Good. Yeah. Oh no, he was all right. He was all right. I was worried. Oh, yeah, he's fine. Sorry, he's, he's yeah, fine, yeah, 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 he's fine actually. He's fine actually. Well, that's good though. It's good that he's grand. Yeah, had me worried there for all of ten minutes. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, I'll just I'll just go with that. Uh, six out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, right. I'm off. Have you seen Small Soldiers? No. Right. There's this guy, Chip Hazard. Uh huh. You're gonna look. I'll just, I'll okay. just, I'll just, I'll stick it on. You get this shit out of the way. 